Good morning, everyone. My name is Sean Webb. I'm the Director of Community Engagement and the Educational Foundation. You're watching Classroom Conversations today. You can see I'm not in my office today. I'm at a different location. I'm over at Palm Desert High School. Uh, we're going to be talking about that shortly. But uh, no, we're here at Classroom Conversations. As you know, we engage our community, talk about everything that's great going on in education and desert sands and our Coachella Valley. But uh, exciting. Thank you very much, CoachellaValley.com, for allowing us to be on your platform. Thank you, Kate Anderson uh, from the Aqua Caliente Bandicoot Indians for allowing us to be uh, you know, to be a partner with you as well as you pay for our access this year and as one of our corporate sponsors. But let's go ahead and move on. We've got a short show today, but some very important information. I want to make sure that everybody's aware we have a classified job fair coming up. That's this Saturday from 8 to 12. I want to make sure to go ahead and check that out. Very important for all of our, uh, I, I encourage people, if you're looking to get part of Desert Sands, this is a great opportunity to be, uh, to work for a great organization here in the desert. We're the third largest organization here in the desert. We also have some great benefits and plans uh, that you can be part of. Also great retirement oppor opportunities too, if you're looking to start a career. But we're looking to hire athletic trainers, bus drivers, campus security agents, child care assistants, clerical uh, custodians, educational interpreters, you name it. it. You can see all of the areas there. You want to go to dsusd.us um, and you can go ahead and check out all of the opportunities that we have at Desert Sands. But this is a job fair on Saturday, March 11th. They're offering permanent jobs there. Um, I'll, I'll tell you, uh, for classified uh, positions, typically you're taking a test and then you're going upon a list and then you're interviewing. But uh, from what I understand, they're going to be offering opportunities right then and there this Saturday. So we encourage you, please, if you want to join the Desert Sands family, yes, the Desert Sands family, come join us on Saturday, March 11th. That'll be taking from 8 a.m. to 12 o'clock and that's at Desert Sands in the multi, uh, Desert Sands uh, District Office. So please come and see us. It'll be a lot of fun. So uh, yeah, please, if you want to join our family, you want to join the member, uh, you know, join the member, uh, be part of the Desert Sands family. Yeah, that's the first step is come on, on over to see us. But uh, in addition to that, I'm excited. I'm over here at Palm Desert today because I'm just, oh, one, one too many slides. But I'm over here discussing with April Rubio, who last year we worked with her. Uh, she's in the Career Center here, but we worked with her with some career fairs that partnered with uh, Indio High School as well as Palm Desert High School. Well, this year, very exciting. Uh, we're partnering again. Uh, we're going to have Shadow Hills High School and Palm Desert High School. Palm Desert High School is opening up their campus from 12 to 4 on April 5th. And then Shadow Hills High School is doing the same from 12 to 4 on April 7th. And at that time, we're asking employers and businesses in the community to come out and join us to offer jobs for our students. This is a great opportunity for you to meet with our students. Uh, I'll tell you, last year was our first time where we partnered with, with the, the Chambers of Commerce. We had a very successful event on a Saturday. Uh, we had about 100 kids come through, which was fantastic. But this year, what we're doing is it's going to be during the school day. So Wednesday, April 5th as well as Friday, April 7th, you're gonna have access to students. We're gonna be on our campus during lunch where all the juniors and seniors will have access to come in during the, the, the lunch time to meet with you, as well as you can stay until four o'clock that day. And we're gonna have opportunities for classes to sign up and the teachers can then bring their classes in so then they can go ahead and be part of the career fair. And you then and there can go ahead and have people fill out applications, maybe even do some interviews and do some hiring. Uh, one of the exciting things that happened last year at Indio High School is when we had some of the, uh, what was it, the Hyatt Regency was there uh, over in Indian Wells, and they they did hires right on spot. So I'm hoping we can get some of that same thing going on here on April 5th and 7th. And uh, what I'll do is I'm going to be posting on our Facebook and our social media uh, at the Desert Sands Educational Foundation how you can sign up for that. But real simple, uh, it's 20, it's, I'm sorry, it's $50 per uh, educational fair, but if you sign up for both of them, it's only $75. And the proceeds for this, uh, obviously we're gonna pay the, the the needs of the day for the printing and those types of things, uh, the basic needs that are needed for the day. But we're gonna also may, use it as a fundraiser for the two career centers that are hosting us. So Shadow Hills High School and Palm Desert High School. So the, the old guys uh, will benefit from that. So that's, that's pretty exciting. So we'll have that opportunity. Uh, coming up on April 5th and 7th. And like I said, I'll be posting links for you to post uh, to sign up as a business, as well as all of our three chambers of commerce that we work with, the Palm Desert Chamber of Commerce, the Greater Coachella Valley Chamber of Commerce, as well as the Ranch Marsh Chamber of Commerce has been pushing it out to the members. And I'm excited to say that we already have Sunline Transit that has signed up and we have our own Desert Sands Unified School District has signed up. As you know, they have their career fair coming up uh, this Saturday, but they're also going to partake 
uh, participate in this because, you know, they have some great opportunities for our students. So imagine if you're a senior and you're going to go to College of the Desert next year, which a lot of our seniors will do, they can be a substitute in our classified services. So why not? Why not take a great opportunity to take a step forward? But uh, no, it's it's great. We got some, uh, last year we had over a dozen, uh, was it over two dozen businesses? I'm hoping we can do the same. So we hope to see it. Uh, some new and exciting news that came about over the last week. Uh, so we didn't go live with Classroom Conversations last week because myself, Mary, and Jan, along with uh, Superintendent uh, Dr. Kelly Mae Vollmer, we were at the California School Public Relations Association Conference. And as you can see, myself, my daughter there, Brooklyn, and Sean Insinius were holding some hardware. And that's exactly what happened. We won uh, three awards, two for community engagement and one for general publications for awards of merit at the state level uh, with the California Association of Public School Administrators or Public School uh, School Public Relations Association. Sorry, all the different acronyms we have. But no, that was exciting. We were just recognized at the school board meeting. So I want to th say thank you for that. And uh, geez, I, I will say that we 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 work great together, the three of us and actually all of the people represented there. Uh, if not the help and assistance of each and every person there, none of these awards are possible. So thank you very much, Kevin, Jan, Adriana, Sean, uh, obviously Jan and Mary, and then uh, Kelly for allowing us to, uh, you know, lead this department the way that we're able to. So that was very exciting. That that took place on Tuesday, but we we got to go to an awards banquet uh, to to participate in that. So that was really exciting to be honored in front of. Uh, it was 400 other school districts throughout the state. Um, and we, we won three awards, so that's very exciting. Thank you, Mary, for writing up the, uh, the applications, too. Uh, okay, go to Snipped Articles and Social Media. That's telling me right now that I need to pull up our social media. Um, as you guys know, we are on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. But I just want to make sure that you guys are aware that we've been uh, doing our best efforts. Uh, one of the things that we saw at the conference was the ability to use reels and so forth. So we've been doing some reels uh, to increase our social media, but uh, make sure to check out on Instagram. You know, we we go ahead and put it, post things to our story. But this was an event that we had just the other day. I want you guys to see this here. I'm sorry that's a little loud, but let me go ahead and make this uh, full screen. But this was an event that took place yesterday, Coffee with Kelly. And uh, very exciting, but uh, let me make sure to turn this down a little bit because it was a little loud here. So let me go ahead and see the post. So we can go ahead and play it. I see that it's not sharing that screen, so I apologize. Let me just go ahead and remove this screen. I'm going to have to reshare. You know, as I'm not at my site, I do not have two screens in front of me, so sometimes it's a little bit difficult. So let me see. I need to stop sharing that screen and then share another one here. Hold on. But we've made a great reel of the coffee with Kelly place yesterday. I want to make sure to share that with you guys. Okay, so you, there you can see the reel that we took place uh, just uh, yesterday. Uh, we had coffee with Kelly over at Madison Elementary. I want to thank the staff over there and uh, Mrs. Zink uh, for hosting us. But the coffee with Kelly was very well attended. We had over, I want to say, 50 people from the community, as staff members and students that came in to just have basic conversation and a cup of coffee with our superintendent. And also Dr. Jordan Aquino was there. I'm sorry, Mr. Jordan Aquino from our assistant superintendent of business services was there. Uh, let's see. Dan Capello was there from Nutritional Services, Laura Fisher. We had school board members there. Just a great attended event. Um, just took place for about 45 minutes before school started over at Madison. We're going to have the next one coming up at Truman Elementary in the spring. So we hope that you can join us. Um, beautiful thing about Truman Elementary is that we have the access to the elementary school as well as the middle school right there in the same parking lot. So we're hoping that we can have a lot of, 
a lot of our families join there. But let me go ahead. Um, once again, I need to stop that screen and reshare another one because one of the great things that I, I get shared with me each and every week are the peach jars that our, um, all of our staff and go ahead and put together. And what happens is um, Adriana does a great little file for both myself. Well, she actually shares it with our superintendent, but I get to see the file as well. But this is called our snipped images of different things that are coming up in the events. So I, I feel like this is a, a great way to share about what's going on in the community and what's coming up here. Uh, but let me make sure that we have that. Okay, so you can see the full screen there. And what we have coming up, we have community night over at the Firebirds. This is going to be really exciting on Wednesday, April 5th at 7 o'clock. We are inviting all of our Desert Sands community, staff, students, family members, grandmas, grandpas, uncles, aunts. You got a student or you have some type of connection to Desert Sands. We want to see you there on April 5th. And we want to just light that area up with all of Desert Sands uh, families and so forth. So that'll be a lot of fun and exciting. Uh, these are all of our graduation dates moving forward. You can see all of our graduations are going to be taking place in the month of May this year. They're going to be done by May 31st. So those are all of our graduation dates. Uh, you can see that on our district website as well. Let me make sure to get to this link here. Uh, we have some uh, Loving Solutions Parent Academy coming up. Those are the different dates. You can find this in Peach Jar as well as at dsusd.us. You can find out all the information of that. But uh, we see we have uh, the next one coming up, Raising Strong-Willed Children is May March 14th and 16th with following parenting influence. And they've got a series of classes that'll go all the way in through May. So please, if you're interested about that, please go ahead and check out the Loving Solutions Parent Academy. I already sh shared about the classified job fair as I I'll go ahead and give it another plug that's on Saturday, March 11th. Very important. If you want to be part of the Desert Sands family, you have to come to this job fair. You want a classified job, you want to work uh, anything but basically being in the classroom with students and being a teacher, this is where you come to go ahead and apply for a job. I'm actually taking, um, uh, there's going to be three of us that are going to Buffalo, New York. I get to go visit my alma mater and we're going to be recruiting some teachers there coming up. But this is an opportunity that we have here locally for anybody that wants to be part of the Desert Sands classified family. So please be there. Uh, scholarship program going on for Palm Springs Women in Film and Television. I know the individuals that are part of that organization are on the board. This is an amazing $3,000 film scholarship, and this is due on March 17th. So please scan that QR code there. Go to Palm Springs Women in Film and go ahead and apply. I, I highly encourage you. I know the people that are movers and shakers in that organization. They do a great job. Uh, March 17th through 19th, we have the Grocery Artlet. DRA PTO presents. Save with this flyer. You get save 5% and donate 5%. That's great. So it's 10%, five to them and five to save and five to donate. That's going to go to Desert Ridge Academy. But you need to have that flyer. So make sure you have that with you. And that's at the Washington Street um, location that's located right at Bermuda Dunes, Washington Street. And uh, what is that? Washington Street and hopefully that turns into 42nd. So please come on over there. Free classes for ESL and citizenship. Those are available at the Eisenhower Community Center. You can call that number there. There's two of them there. Please call them to find out more information. See what else we have here. Oh, spring fundraiser. I don't know if I should have seen this. This is not good for me, but <laughs> I know I'll order a lot of chocolate. But spring fundraiser coming up for Seize Candy. You can order through now through March 24th. Uh, proceeds to benefit Shadow Hills High School Theater Arts. And we also have a, a thought exchange going on for teachers, students, family, and parents. This is from March 1st through 17th on Panorama. So we please want you to take uh, advantage they are coming up and we want your feedback. So we'll have that information coming to you soon. But uh, let's see here. Yeah, and then we have a calendar here for the multilingual parent events that are coming up for spring. Once again, all of these events, all of these flyers are found on Peach Jar. You can go to dsusd.us to sign up for Peach Jar to get more information about that. But I just want to make sure that you're well aware that all of these flyers, that, like I, 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 I never saw the, the power of Peach Jar until I saw it where I only posted some things on there and I couldn't believe that. So uh, we posted uh, a couple events in the community just on Peach Shore as they we couldn't justify. I'll flat out say we could not justify them being posted on our social media because they weren't as close a partnership. But I, I was just amazed by going to some of the events that we did that for. And over, you know, you get a couple thousand of our Desert Sands families there. Oh, I see that they're changing classes here at Palm Desert High School and also gives me an idea that I have to go ahead and wrap up the show here. Um, you know, very exciting. I'm over here at Palm Desert High School because I'm going to meet with the Career Center uh, staff, as well as the counseling staff. And we're going to zoom in 
uh, actually Google Meet with the staff over at Shadow High School so we can finalize the, the, the plans for our second annual Desert Sands, Desert Sands Educational uh, Foundation Career Fair. So we're going to finalize those so you guys can sign up as businesses and then our students can come out in the community and get some jobs. So you guys, I will catch up with you guys next week, Thursday. Uh, let's see. I do have jury duty. So we'll see if I get to, if I'm not on jury duty, I'll definitely be on with you Thursday at nine o'clock or we'll be playing a repeat episode, but uh, you guys have a great week and uh, we'll, we'll see you uh, hopefully next week. All right. Have a good one.